Uh, spanking of the kids. Where you stand? We all got spanked growing up, right? We all got hit. I got spanked. I got spanked on the front. <laughs> <laughs> My dad would, would would I can't even make the joke. <laughs> It was that awful. It's that bad. Yeah, my parents would. He would hold your show. dick in his hand and slap it like that. With his face. <laughs> With his face. I wasn't going to say that. I was actually going to do it. I'm glad you did. <laughs> I had the image already, and then it went into motion. Like it yes, moved. Why face. can't you make uh, the joke? Can my parents listen to the show sometimes? And there's certain oh, things I just they're can't starting. Yeah. They're starting. Oh, jeez. The, no, they haven't ever said bit. anything. I, I uh, do love my girlfriend, though. She's so nice. Uh, you Aww. Yeah. She's up, we do a little trick, like she'll go to kiss my cheek, and I'll turn and plant one on her lips. Aww, that's adorable. But I do that right after I eat another girl's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky Louie on DVD. Uh, it's coming Tuesday. <laughs> Kid order now, Amazon.com. I think growing up, uh, you, if you're at a certain age, you got spanked. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, it's just the way When did that were. end? When did the timeout start? Louie, you uh, have the kids. Uh, I got kids, and we don't spank them. I don't say so you you're you're, you're like, like the barrier. You're yeah. the generation that got spanked. I know what decided. it did to me. I ain't gonna yeah. do it to another kid. It horrified me as a kid. It did I, not help me at all. I don't speak to my father. No, it's <laughs> one of those things really? that like they were bad spankies. Then. Yeah, I there's well, there's something. A difference. This is different. I don't either. Yeah, I don't talk to my father. No, He's been dead ten years. I can because I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you, you don't talk to your dad? Uh, well, no, my we're starting to reconcile now because I'm finally beyond <laughs> my problems. So we're starting to be friends now. My Are dad. you? Yeah, <laughs> but uh, for a lot of years I didn't speak to him. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's gotta hurt. I guess it's it, well, it, you know, it's one of those family things. You don't want shit getting in the way and. Well, it's like, I think, I remember my dad, he would lecture me first and tell me why he's going to, which is like torture. That's fucking A, man. Going, Here's why you're getting yep. spanked. And, uh, and I remember standing there thinking, the instant I'm old enough, I'm getting the fuck away from this man <laughs> and never seeing him again. <laughs> my mother used to hit me, but with her it was different because she was overworked. She was a single, my parents got divorced, so she's a single mom, tired. Mm -hmm. yep. Shut up. Bang. I totally relate to that. Mm -hmm. If you're a parent and you're overwrought, and you just, out of frustration, need to hit your kid just to settle you, just to center yourself. I totally understand. <laughs> center yourself. I understand. I sympathize with it. Yeah. <clears throat> but the idea of hitting kids uh, methodically as a way to discipline them, I just, I don't think, I think it's wrong. I don't think it's like morally wrong. I just don't think it works. I would get, yeah. it doesn't work. I would get the no. strap. The fucking belt yeah, would come off. Like my dad had the belt. He yeah. had the belt. And he would like, one time, I, uh, I was walking my bike across the street, and we had hedges that were higher than I was, and I decided I was just going to walk out in the street and not look for any cars coming or anything. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I decided to do this. Mm -hmm. I just walked my bike out in the middle of the street, and a car <laughs> like jammed on the brakes. He's yelling at me, and my father was in the yard and saw this happen. Uh. So I was like, what the fuck? Grabs the belt, and here's what he would do. He would fold the belt up right. into two, uh -huh. you know, so you get that, oh, like, boy. nice loop. Yeah. And as he's hitting me, this reciting would happen with each whack. <laughs> Why did you run out in the street when you... And I'm like, oh, could you leave out hey. some fucking adjectives? And <laughs> yes. Just gotta get to the point. Could e you... Even more. This is not four syllables in the. Yeah. yeah. The. the, the uh, uh. W-H-Y-D-I-D-Y-O. You're fucking dead. You're uh, spelling no. now. <laughs> this is killing me. You're killing me. And it just... Was it, it? It just got like fear mm -hmm. and pain, and yeah. you just didn't mistrust of your parents. Yeah, you don't. Think it didn't they help. Lie. It's it's pain before you can take that kind of pain. Didn't help. Yeah, what kind no, of kid is supposed to take fucking, that kind of pain? The ignorant shit I hate hearing is when people are like, "Well, my child uh, mouthed off to me, and I slapped them in the mouth, mm -hmm. and never did it again." Yeah. Is that all that happened? That he never did it again? He never yeah. did it again, and he scarred. It's like it's not an on. A kid isn't a product. Like, hey, it worked. <laughs> That's all I care about is the result was the kid right. wasn't wasn't uh, nasty again. Yeah. Well, you could have gotten that respect by the fucking kid liking you as a person or just yeah. fucking giving them some positive. I mean, there's a million ways. When you yell at your kid, it destroys them. I mean, they, they, you don't need to fucking hit them, you know. Yeah. I just don't think the it hits. I thought the hitting thing was I, really weird. I thought and you'd be a hitter. 
No, never. I never thought you would be that. a spanker. And also, to me, it's like fucking perverted. <laughs> it's like, it, it is like an S and M thing. You're gonna spank your kid's bare bottom while it's they're ridiculous. screaming. Pull your pants pull down. Fucking what? sick. Or if you're doing that and you don't have a boner, then then I don't even understand what's going on. <laughs> hey, uh, Glenn from Connecticut. Opie said there were bad spankings. Does that imply that there are good spankings from your father? I think there. I think you could go too far. Is what I'm saying. I think there's a the whack. On the ass yeah. with the open hand, mm-hmm. and not a fucking send him flying across the room thing, but just an attention getter, like a like a psh, hey, no, right. I think if a parent does that, and me not being a parent, I'm talking to my ass here. I don't know, but I just seem like that's a little less destructive than the fucking ritualistic strap beating. Yeah. Which, by the way, it's it's funny you mention it. My parents too got divorced, and then my mother had to be the disciplinarian. She tried it once, yeah. and she tried the strap thing, and we had bunk beds. So I went, like, rolling into the lower bunk bed, and she tried getting in there, like, with the fucking sidearm pitch, because mm-hmm. she couldn't go overhand, because right. the top bunk was in the way. The Louis Tiot. Submarine pitch. Nice. Yeah. I see the red side. I don't help Louis today. Yeah. She uh, she went in with the side swing, the tip of the, and she didn't know to double over the strap or anything. Right. The tip of the belt <laughs> did a perfect fucking cat of nine tails uh-huh. whoosh, whoosh, snap right on the tip of my dick. Oh, oh nightmare. I, I, I was screaming like I had been shot in the abdomen. Oh. And, and my mother dropped the belt and just, oh, my God, she's <laughs> crying. Yeah, she's grabbing ice. She doesn't know. Kissing it, making it she, better. <laughs> yeah, well, that helped. Yeah. She's Sucking putting ice on it. <laughs> Sucking out the poison. <laughs> she's almost hitting me with a cobra. Fuck, <laughs> oh, make two X's. There's no snake yet, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure what I picked up. Was it my belt or a snake? She put Put ice on, she's crying, and never fucking even, never hit me again. No, yeah. That was it with the disciplining with, mm-hmm. with hitting. Yeah. No, and again, I understand. If you're bringing your kid up in a tough uh, situation, and you, you, if a kid goes out and almost uh, dies, you just want to fucking get it in the yeah, head. Yeah, a quick message. I understand it. So I don't like, I don't look down on parents that do it. I understand it. Um, but people that like are arrogant about it, and I'm like, it works. Yeah. It worked on me. I'm fine. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're, you're an idiot like the rest of us. Your eyes and don't even focus. <laughs> no. And it's not working. There's fucking the wor- The world is a fucking mess. It's <laughs> fucked it's, things up. It's yeah. like if you, your refrigerator is making noise. I unplugged it. The noise stopped. Yeah, exactly. yeah but now it don't work. Yeah. Your food's rotten. Yeah. <laughs> it's, well, it doesn't make that noise. I didn't hear a peep out of it all night. Yeah. Something stinks. I got to jump in. Tom in Tennessee. Daughter enjoys to get spanked. What's this about, Tom? Mm. What's going on, boys? Yeah, um, I can't even spank my daughter. She's four years old. I can't even spank her anymore because she would start to do shit. Just for me to spank her, and and, right. and she loves, likes to get spanked. And Holy fuck! Of course, what a whore! She yeah, cry. Yeah, she wouldn't cry. She would just look back at me and just give me. <laughs> she gives you the fucking eyes. See, that's the, the territory eyes. you're getting into. Holy yeah, shit! It's yeah, fucked up. up. Up, yeah. It is. Wow, oh, wow, I've never fucking heard of that. That is not right. There's a guy in her future that's going to be real happy. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. My, my daughter likes getting timeouts. She likes, she has to sit in the corner with, like, face in the wall. Yeah. She, she, she'll she do something and then go, do I need a timeout? <laughs> <laughs> she uh-huh. gets off on it. She likes it. Who started wow, that's like some crap. kind of discipline thing, sure. maybe some time alone. Do you watch any of those nanny shows? No. Nanny 911 or no, I something. I got enough fucking time. Yeah, I, I, I realize. I, I, the idea of watching somebody else having a problem with yeah. it. Yeah. Fucking, I'd rather. Well, let me give you a little in insight. <laughs> that, yeah, stick myself in the vault. I'll give you a little insight on single guy with no kids. Yeah. You know, I got a girlfriend, but, you know, no kids. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, those shows fascinate me mm-hmm. because it is. A fucking madhouse at the beginning. Yeah. Kids running, spitting at their parents, cursing, mm-hmm. rip, ripping hair out of the siblings' heads, mm-hmm. and then uh, they they're, they're smacking them around. And then this nanny comes in and makes a little timeout area, and it takes time. She gets down on the level of the child, yeah. like on yeah. takes a knee, and explains to the child what the problem is. And then by the end of the show, there are these little angels. Yeah. That put their clothes well, away. Well, what you find out is that the parents aren't doing anything. Most right. parents don't do That's any. That's usually what it is. They don't put any thought. They just live with these kids like they're roommates. Yep. They let them watch television, which just makes your kid into a fucking idiot. <laughs> and puts the TV is a 
level of stimulus that nothing can compete with. Louie, it's all I fucking did. I know, as a me child too. Me too. Was sit in front of the we TV. Pump them full of fucking MSG and sugar, which all food is. Same thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, give them television to watch, which sends them into this fucked up state in their yeah. minds. And then they get the kids don't have a regulatory system. They no. just they get agitated. They do they don't know how to stop themselves from doing something. So these parents like let the fucking TV raise them, give them bad food without even thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Don't give them any fruit or actually fucking any nutrition. Yeah. Then the kid goes ah, and then they hit them. I mean it's it's turning. It's why the whole and people are like well, it works. No, it doesn't. The country's going to shit. Yeah. It's fucking uh, crime and drug. That's where drug addiction comes from. Interracial relationships. What's that? Interracial relationships. Interracial relationships, ah, right. which is a huge problem. Bring, you and know, <laughs> girl gets hit enough times and doesn't want her, she's bringing one of them home. That's, that's right. right. Dark, yeah. dark hey, dad. With a pink hat. Oh, I'll show you. Makes up the every fucking beating the father ever gave. Ever. Hey, ever, pops. Ever. Want to introduce you to Tyrone? <laughs> hit me now. Holy fuck. Hit me now. Andy uh, from Chicago. Andy. How's it going, fellas? Hey, yeah, I'm spreading out here, so keep it up. Um, yeah, growing up, we lived on a little cul-de-sac, and uh, not only did I get everything on my ass from uh, a wooden spoon, like the cake mixing spoons and ping pong paddles and studded belts, but it was pretty much uh, the norm. If I was acting up and my folks weren't around, my neighbors could take care of it. It pretty much got to the point where if the neighbor was having a bad day and I was uh, – Acting out of any way, they could pretty much take it out on me. Oh, permission um, to hit you by a neighbor. That's, wow. that's nice, oh, too. Not just, not just hit, man. One time we had a little crick by my house, and uh, the guy, the neighbor, had Uh-oh. me over. Oh, the Mark Twain character old. this guy is. Yeah. At a crick. <laughs> I don't what, know. What about the Highly discipline you, sir. Did nigger Jim hit you? <laughs> <laughs> With a <the> radio? <laughs> hey, man. What? He had me over his head. He's like, I'm throwing you in. I'm throwing you in. I'm like, no, you're not. You're a liar. He drops me. And Your kicked fault. me with steel toe boots in the ass <laughs> for calling him a liar at five years old. And not only did I get a, a boot in the ass, but then he calls up, tells my mom that I called him a liar. So I had to do that. Wait for daddy to get home to get yeah. Oh, great. You get that. hit. That was another thing. Yeah, wait till your oh. father gets home. And, and then you, now you got to sit like fucking you, you, the green mile. Yeah. You're just waiting to yep. get fucking That's bludgeoned. That's the worst part. Yeah. You know, I remember when I was a kid once. Psychological damage. My mother gave me $5 to go to the market to buy some stuff uh, for the family. And I was oh. walking around with my friends just playing and not get going to the store. Oh. And then I found, I'm walking down. Lil this, Louis fucking. Up. Yeah, here it comes. Up. Oh, and boy. I walk in through this little alley behind the stores that we used to fuck around in, and I found five dollars. And in my insides, I knew it was my five dollars that I had dropped <laughs> and then found. But I, I didn't go in that pocket because I didn't want to believe it. I wanted to believe that I found five dollars. And I bought <laughs> ice cream, and I bought the Guinness Book of World Records. I remember it was a big deal to me that of I course. bought that. I'm a nerd. Yeah. <laughs> it was a big book when we were kids. 17. It was, I was, yeah, I was not 20, 23. <laughs> <laughs> and I went home, and I told my mother, look at this stuff I got. And she said, where is the food that you're supposed to buy? And, oh, my God, I lost the $5. And How so, did you even think that would pan out yeah. for you? So she sent me to my room, and then when my father came home, she told him the story. I could hear them talking, and they're laughing about the story. Of course. They it's just hysterical. think it's hilarious. So I'm like, I have to be off the hook. But they laughed at my story, and then he beat the shit out of me. Oh, <laughs> Which is the yes. worst. It's, I mean, it's seared in my memory. Of I remember course. every moment Look, of it. It's right there now. <laughs> yeah. It's awful. Oh, let's go to the story yeah. here. Should spanking under three be illegal? Parents could soon find themselves in timeout for spanking their kids. A California assemblywoman is proposing a ban on spanking children younger than three. If that bill passes, hitting your toddler would be a misdemeanor offense, landing you actually behind bars or with a $1,000 fine. MSNBC legal expert Susan Filan joins me. Now, Susan, this is a fun one. Um, what? what do child fun. abuse laws cover? Abuse. Uh, abuse, neglect, beating, cruelty, endangerment. Spanking? But here's the problem with this legislation. What's a spank? Is it a, a tap? Is it a love tap? Is it a smack? Is it a... Bl- and who decides that? Exactly. Exactly. And now we're going to start telling parents how to really parent their children. Why don't we now have a bill, you didn't love your child enough. You didn't nurture oh. your child enough. You know, you were That's overly nice. critical of that art project. <laughs> it, it is a slippery slope. I, as, as we're both parents, so we, we yeah, can both the really Asian feel that this both one nuts. deeply and personally. <laughs> I hate that slippery slope. Yeah, I do, too. Uh, 
No, you make so you have to uh, slippery. Everything's a slippery everything slope. Everything's a slippery. Yes, right, even exactly. a fucking uh, yeah. even a well adhered slope is slippery. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't want to stand on that <laughs> on that stable ground because it's a slippery slope. slope. Slope has been salted, <laughs> and still people are bitching yeah. about it. Well, they ask, how could this even be enforced? That's the question. What yeah. judge is going to believe yeah. a two-year-old? Experts say, and I think this is pretty true, spanking usually happens in the home. Experts. Yeah. So how would this oh. even be enforced from a legal standpoint? Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine now oh parents bickering? I'm calling the cops on you for spanking the child. Oh. I mean, it, it's just a really, really bad idea. It's an impossible bill to enforce. It's going to be impossible to define. It's going to be impossible to determine appropriate punishment. Who gets a year? Oh, that was a really bad spank. You get six months because that wasn't the worst spank I've ever seen. Right. I mean, I just it, for me, it's like how this differs from I mean, child abuse is important to have laws in the book to protect things, leave a mark, et cetera, et cetera. There, there's a, a, an easy way to say abuse happened here, physical abuse happened, and you need to be punished. This is a slippery slope and a gray area oh, in the law. That said, Nothing. what do you think the chances are of this passing? Uh, zero. I mean, I, I just think it's stupid. Uh, you just, well, you're stupid. Then why are you guys talking about it? Yeah. Exactly. I don't think non story. They should pass a law like that. Nah, no laws, just fucking. No. Get, people shouldn't have uh, should common sense. Do I, it, but you know they shouldn't pass it. And California doesn't give a shit about kids. No. That's the meanest state in the world. <laughs> they care about Awful themselves, place. right? Yeah, no. I mean, I was I, I did a benefit for this place uh, that was a foster home for kids that are like. Kids that were left in cars by the highway because they were had terminal kids that have terminal diseases in poor neighborhoods. Oh, no. They get fucking left just on the highway all the time. So this was a foster home for them, and California, the state of California, closed it because they didn't wow. like the statistics. The, the, the foster homes is where they get the statistics of how many kids are endangered, and the statistics were getting too high in California. Makes the state looks so bad. they just closed the. <laughs> Close it down. They won't count them. No way to count them. And we look no, better. No, it's awful. Do you read the fucking Grapes of Wrath? It's an awful place. No, it's a wow. cruel state. So they're hypocrites. I think what we need to be aware of is if you see a kid in a grocery store whose parent or caregiver is whacking them, you know, pants down with a hairbrush on a bare oh, bottom. No. Oh, video. Oh, 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 yeah. Hold on a second. Get that camera phone yeah, right. out. Who the fuck has seen that? YouTube. <laughs> Another fucking Bill Donahue. Yeah, tester. no kidding. Oh. What if a child is blowing Martin Luther King <laughs> <laughs> and being spanked for you it? You could be spanked for oh, that, yeah. sure. Store whose parent or caregiver is whacking them, you know, pants down with a hairbrush on a mm, bare bottom. Ow. You call the police. Yeah, I don't I think anyone's going to call that a spank. No. And I think that's what we're talking about. I think we're talking well, about show. egregious talking discipline about abuse. Of abuse, right? But a parent, a, a love tap, a little smack, a wake up love spank, tap. whatever you want to call it. I mean, parents have wake, wake up spank with their children. That I used to do that every morning. And when they're three, the day. No. sometimes they don't Too get the verbal cues. So that is what they're targeting. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Anybody out there with a two-year-old? Uh, yeah, exactly. So this is dumb. Okay. I mean, really, we need, we need children now, laws, yeah. and we need real police. <laughs> Anybody under three will be really we, funny. Aren't we all if talking about kid's third birthday, you just then planted then your fist into his stomach? Let's toward that. <laughs> Sexual predators, people who <laughs> molest children. What? I mean, that's where we should be putting our resources. Ah. Spanking, oh, please. Spanking molesters? What? <laughs> but again, it's like these people that are like, all right. You know, should we be watering our lawns in the summer? I don't know, but what about people blowing children in Martin Luther King? And like, what is, I, I was talking about something really completely different. Exactly. 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 We got another great story. Lee in Indiana. Lee, it's your turn hey, on the Opie and Anthony show. What's up, Lee? How you guys doing this morning? All right. Um, yeah, when I was a kid, my stepmom used to use um, what they call bed slats. Um, the one by twos they used to put underneath the mattress. Yeah, oh those Jeez. things. Bed slats. Oh, shit, that's fucking <laughs> like in the hole beating. That's like like oh. fucking when you're in the hole in jail. In oh, prison. it was the worst. Oh, and she beat me one time so bad she almost broke my arm. So I called the cops, and the oh. cops come out there and showed her a special hole to put on my neck to make me pass out. And they said if he ever gives you that kind of problem again, just squeeze his neck right here. He'll go down like a brick, yes. you know, like a bag of bricks. Who are you, Radio Rahim? Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I got it. Wow. Hey, I was up in Chicago seeing you guys' billboard up there yesterday, and I don't know what they did to your face, Anthony, but you're, it looks like you're just one fall short of a rubber helmet, man. I mean, they got that thing so distorted what? up there. No wonder what? nobody listens up there in Chicago. They distorted your face on the... Oh, uh, oh no, 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 it's just the way I really look. <laughs> you know he could have been a model, right? <laughs> a model. <laughs> you know what else is uh, really bad when you're a kid? I used to get hit with um, 
different objects if something wasn't readily available. Yeah. And one thing was when they hit you with your fucking toys, that yeah. you like, then that toy all of a sudden is not fun for you anymore. You would lose got, that toy. I got beat with a Hot Wheels track. <laughs> like fucking oh, hot, those are great, those yeah. orange Hot Wheels track yeah. are custom made for beating children with. Yeah. And and I got a smack on the ass with it. And then you're playing with your Hot Wheels and just getting anxiety and not knowing why. <laughs> right. No, kids also, you're teaching them to use it against each other. Like, if you have siblings, yeah, the parent who hits becomes like this justice system right. that you learn how to subvert and use against you. Now I will use this. Yeah. Like, I, there was a little kid across the street from me when I was growing up named Benji, and I didn't really like him. But I got threw in with him because we're the same age. So our parents, oh, go play with Benji. Yeah. So I was over there, and he was just... Ir- I started poking him with a stick, just being an asshole to him. <laughs> and he was going, stop it. And I just kept poking him. And then he hit me. And his father saw it throughout the window. And his father came running out and beat the shit. I just spanked the living shit out of him. Wow. And I was thrilled at that cause and effect. Just watching so that, yeah. The next day, I went over, and I started poking him. And he's trying to resist because he doesn't want to get hit. And I just kept bothering him. Oh, is that and then he hit me, and the father came out and beat him up again. And I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> that's what I was taught by spanking. Yeah, see? And he was taught, and it was unfair to him. And Oh. Now Benji's in a bathhouse right now, probably <laughs> voluntarily being tied up and fucked in the mouth. Yeah. Thanks to you and your stick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Torrance, for Vincent Feedback, my father went to the WWF School of Parenting. He would just grab <laughs> random objects nearby to beat me with. He once broke a shelf over my head, and I remember thinking, I built that in shop class, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> the things that go through your head. Right. I, I, I was blaming things on animals and stuff. Like I, I used to take things apart. I would love just mm-hmm. disassembling stuff, but I was a kid, so I never knew how to put it back together. You could just take things apart. And my parents had a nice clock, and I just wanted to know how it worked. So mm-hmm. you never think you're going to take the whole goddamn thing apart. You, took it apart. you just want to kind of look at the inside, and then something goes boing, yeah, and it's, it's over. just gone, and it was apart. So I laid it out on the floor, and I took uh, the dog. We had a dog, and I took his, his paws put him up on the table uh, that the clock was on and scraped with his, his nails <laughs> into the table. Like, I'm setting up the perfect uh, 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 crime here and um, left it like that. And I, I f- it would have been better if I said I did it because I had to watch my father beat the shit out of our dog. Yep, yep. This poor animal is going, burr, burr, and, and I'm like, Oh my God! I just fucking yep. condemn that dog, that innocent dog, for this beating that he's yep. getting. No, but that's the thing. That's what beating your kids because the kid can't face a beating. Right. It's too awful for a kid. That's it's what not, I was doing. I couldn't proportion. take the beating. So that's what you turn kids into liars. And I am a liar my whole <laughs> life. I'm a dishonest person <laughs> because I couldn't face negativity. Wow, this I couldn't like, face making a mistake. This is like therapy. Yeah. I'm getting a therapy it's session. True. But that's what, if you hit your kid, people, oh, he never did that again. Yeah, he did. He just got good at hiding it. You yeah. fucking you, faggot. You know what be really funny is after you that with a clock, if your dad fucked the dog in front of you. And that, was, <laughs> that was the punishment for the dog. <laughs> and it died. He fucked it to death. How do you know that isn't just the part I left out, Jimmy? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got another great... Dad, <laughs> fuck that dog. <laughs> we got another real good one coming in here. <laughs> Justin from Oklahoma. Justin. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, Justin. Hey, listen, whenever I used to go stay with my dad in the summertime, so I hated going because my stepmom used to beat the shit out of me, but I always had a hard time going to sleep because I was always homesick from my mom. And he would tell me that the little black boys would come around and come in my room and beat me up if I did not go to sleep at the time I was supposed to go to sleep. Oh, my God, how much pressure is that? Yeah, I remember that one, too. Did it ever happen? What's now is my girlfriend is black. That's cool. And your favorite movie is Ghost. (laughs) My favorite movie is Ghost. <laughs> Did that ever happen? Did any black boys come in your room and... Not that I ever knew. I fucking went to sleep. Sure. We, uh, me and my brother, you know, we used to talk. We had bunk beds. We shared a room. So we would talk. And we lived in a, a real small shithole apartment mm-hmm. where the our bedroom was right off the living room. So my father and mother would just be miserable on opposite sides of the couch, yeah. watching like Ronan Martin's laugh in. <laughs> trying to get a laugh. laugh in their lives, <laughs> and, my, and my mother looking snidely over my father every time he laughed because it it implied he was enjoying himself, and that just pissed my mother oh, off that he awful. was having fun. Oh. Just the hatred between the two oh, of them. Totally. And me and my brother, 
brother would sit there and just mm. like we we would be in in uh on bunk beds in the bedroom, but they could hear us, mm-hmm. and we I just where we be. Just whispering to each other, anything like, Jay, just hit the commercial for the new Hot Wheels and stuff. It's so cool if you want to get inside. And we'd hear from inside, hey, knock it off in there and get to sleep. If you're not to sleep in, in 15 minutes, I'll come in there. And then you're sitting there going, oh, my God, my body has to fall asleep. Or he's going to know, no, I'm not. Asleep. How much pressure is that on a kid to sleep? Like, I know. Is that, and then we couldn't talk, so... so even lower, just trying... We were just kids trying to enjoy yes. each other's company. And he would come over... And hang the belt on the doorknob. Oh, jeez. And it would, like, That's swing. Sleep. The light would glisten off the buckle. Like, I yeah. remember this vividly. Like, that belt would be the warning. That's going to make you sleep. Nice and you'd me. stare at the belt and be, i got eight minutes left. Holy <laughs> shit, he's going to know I can't fake it. I can't shut my eyes. I'm not a fucking actor. I can't shut my eyes and make believe I'm asleep. He can uh. tell I'm not asleep. <laughs> It was just frightening. What would have happened if, like, after he went back in the living room, if you opened the door and took the belt and threw it back down the hall and go, you forgot your belt, stupid. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Oh, oh, and I have loved to have been able to do awesome. something like the that. Plank it on the floor after you throw it. He wouldn't oh. be here today, man. The se- And, you know, let me tell you something. I, I, don't know, I don't know what effect this had, but... When they would go out or leave the house and a babysitter would come over or something like that, oh. me and my brother would break into the fucking liquor cabinet and start drinking. At what age? We were wow. drinking. What age? Wow. I, I had to be fucking eight. <clears throat> Holy shit. And yeah. maybe my That's... brother was nine. And my brother would start fucking making out with the babysitters. Right. They were like 15 years old, yep. 16 years old babysitters. No, that's what happens. Because yeah. when my parents... You just lose you fucking control. Yeah. They say, fuck you, I'm doing it. No, when my one. parents went, because my, my dad left the house, and then my mother would work. <clears throat> and I used to go home. I used to leave school in the middle of the day all the time. <laughs> just leave. I'm and just, I'd go home. I'm and just I, leaving. Yeah, i just buy. And I was like a feral cat in the house. So fucking <laughs> rubbing my dick against every surface in the house. <laughs> fucking, you know, just disgusting. I used to climb. We had an upstairs neighbors because we lived in a two-family house. And I used to, through the basement, go into their apartment and steal shit. I became a fucking mess. It really worked. It worked oh, yeah. well, that, that um, spanking yep. thing, I guess. Yeah. Wow. I've I've always kind of been an advocate, too, of, of the of <clears throat> spanking. But uh, okay, now I that I look it back, it didn't change my mind. have worked. Because no. Louis brought up a great point where it's like, hey, it worked. Yeah. But you just don't know what else it's doing. That's <laughs> a so, huge problem. It's so, uh, You're also teaching your kid that hitting is how you get stuff. I mean, that's how, you know, that you listen to people who hit you. What kind of fucking <laughs> life lesson is that? Well, if someone hits you, just listen to yeah, him. Just do whatever or he'll they said keep right hitting before. you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, It's bad in, in, in raising a kid, although I do think on like places where it should be yanked out, like if the kid's crying on a plane. Like if, he, like if he's not used to being oh, hit, man. and all of a sudden you're hammer-fisting him. <laughs> 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 now, I think a, a, an attention getting whack on the ass yeah, that is kind, kind of, of thing, an yeah. attention I mean, I wouldn't do it. I mean, yeah. I, I can't imagine. Fucking, the kids are so tiny. It's or just bizarre to me. Pick them up by the But arm. look, I don't believe in hitting my dog. I don't believe in it. But my dog once snapped at my daughter, and I fucking Ooh. laid her out. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't. I felt bad. And I don't think Did it you was get a right good thing. out of it? <laughs> it was pretty oh, good. Oh, that's the get surprised when you hit him. I smacked her in the face. Hard. Yeah, I threw her outside. I dragged her outside. And as I closed the door on her, I gave her a fucking nasty whack in the face. You think the dog knew why? It was I don't. Snapping? I didn't. Didn't matter. Didn't even care. It was no. retribution. Yeah, it wasn't it was fucking rehabilitation. Fucking <laughs> yeah. Dog behaved after that, though, right? Uh, well, yeah, but with the dog, especially actually hitting dogs is, killed is, it. is a plain bad idea because they do get aggressive. They, and they get, don't. Yeah. It they confuses snappy. them. Yeah, they don't because they don't hit each other. Dog. Yeah. Why don't we yeah. go to Jason and Wyoming? They, yes. Well, they do look each other's assholes. It doesn't mean we should have to interact like they should. <laughs> no, right, right. We no. should. Perhaps. If he doesn't yeah. bite the dog. When my dog him. was a puppy, I did bite her on the ear, which I heard you is a good. Like, I laid down flat on top of her and bit her on did the Did the ear. alpha male thing? Yeah. Yeah. And it worked. She sat you know. pissed on it. <laughs> Just <laughs> pissed in her piss in its favorite corner. Yeah. <laughs> Show it who's boss. Yeah. Hey, uh, this has come in a couple times as well. Jason and Wyoming, here's another angle. Jason, go ahead. Yeah, you guys got me reminiscing about the God damn it if I gotta come in there. Yeah. But <laughs> my dad used to give me a tune up. If I was being good for an extended period of time, he'd whack me in the back of the head to remind me of what would happen if I was naughty. Wow. Yeah. This came yeah. in a few times. People yep. that they they were too good for too long and the father felt like they gotta hit him anyway. That's yep. a good one. Oh yeah, you gotta get a Just tune to keep up. them going, yeah. I guess. No, it all I think 
you tapped into something when you said that your father is laughing at, at laughing, yeah, and his wife is sneering at him. Oh, That's just why he's yelling at they you. They were, of course, yeah. They were miserable. Yeah. No, there's nothing. That is the the oh. trait of a miserable marriage, and I've been there. That your wife does not want you to be, which is again why yeah. I stay at the Ritz on the road. <laughs> because, <laughs> like, if my wife calls me at work, like I'm at a, I'm working on a comedy show, right. And everybody's in my office, and we're laughing about something. And she calls on my phone, and she's, oh, what, do you just sit around and laugh all day? Yeah. Is that what you're doing while I'm home with the kids? You're sitting there and laughing? She's angry. So Pete, when people call me on my phone at work when I'm on a show, I, I have to go, shh. Like it's I'm smoking oh, pot and no, my mom's don't, calling. Don't, no fun in the air. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. no Everybody fun. get out. Hi. No, we're just working really hard on the Oof. comedy. It's just miserable. I was I, I was married for uh, for nine years, and uh, Opie remembers. Um, I I would love doing the show, and then we used to carpool because we lived in the same uh, town. So he'd be driving me home, and like he could see the point where we, he'd make a corner, and like the fun and vibrant life I had would be sucked from my body. My shoulders went show. down. Like we're talking, yeah, we'd be talking about that day's show and what we're going to do tomorrow and just our career and how excited we are about being in New York. And, and, then, and then we'd turn a corner and my shoulders would slump. <laughs> my, my jaw would kind of go down. My eyes would kind of get like uh, down. And, and she'd be at the door kind of looking out the door. Uh, and, and I, like, I'd be walking toward the door and Opie would hear <laughs> some shit like, like, the garbage was supposed to be at the curb this morning, and, oh my God. and he'd drive away just, and I'm a beaten man. Well, the vacuum cleaner is the story we always tell. I, oh, I, yeah, I, when he comes to pick me up. Anthony's not a morning person, and I used to pick him up around 10, 10.30, whatever. Yeah. But uh, the point of the story, Ant was awake maybe five minutes, because he, he would wake get in the car, and try to wake up, you know, for the ride. All psyched to come in because it's, it's, it's a fucking fun job. Sure. So I pulled up one day, and there's, like, this huge argument going on on the stoop, and I'm oh. thinking to myself, I know he gets up real just in time to jump in the car. What mm. could he have possibly yeah. done wrong? He's yeah. been awake How maybe long did I have? minutes. <laughs> And she was yelling and screaming because he didn't vacuum before he left the house. Because vacuuming was my responsibility. To do our shock radio show. Jesus. Vacuuming was my responsibility. And another thing, as you brought it up, oh, there were a couple times I was ready to drop him back off at the house, and I would actually go, you, you want to go around the block? <laughs> you know, what, 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 what do you want to do? You don't want to go home. So I would, like, I would drive past the house just so he could get, uh, I don't know, oh, psyched or ready just get for himself it. together. Oh, no, my wife, we over. had one of those ridiculous garbage arguments because she came in the kitchen and said, uh, how come the garbage isn't out in the bin? It's sitting on the kitchen floor. And I go, uh, the bin is full. And she goes, really? It's full? <laughs> and I'm like, I have to breathe to not get my... Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's full. And she goes, so even a bag wouldn't fit in there? And I'm like, why don't you go outside and look? Why don't you go look in the bin? And I'm saying it with like a tight smile. Why don't you go look in the bin? And she's like, why are you being shitty? I'm only asking you if it's full. No, you're not just wow. asking. You're asking three times regardless of my answer. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I've answered you. Yeah. You and asked so again. She, it's like, and again. Yeah, and then so I start talking like that. Like, I'm going, you asked again and again, and I told you it wasn't. And then she goes, look at you. <laughs> look at yourself. Look how you're talking. Oh, women are She's awful. like Perry Mason. <laughs> like, yes. like trying to trip you up on your testimony. Yes. And then finally you lost. Mm. You were the guy that went, all right, yes. all right. And see the temper, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen it's of the jury. Full. See, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Yeah, but here's how fucked up things are. The bin was not full. <laughs> it was. And I am mad at her because how would she know I'm lying? Like I'm mad at her. <laughs> right. I'm mad. I'm indignant that she's calling me a liar simply because I know she has no she reason to doubt to have me. Looked, but I, it was not full. Did she check the bin? What's that? Did she check? She would have had to have looked lazy. into the she bin. Didn't do anything? No, she didn't. She didn't look. She did not look. Then how did she know it wasn't full? No, she just, just doesn't she trust knew me. You're a liar. See, I'm angry that she doesn't trust me, even though the fact is I'm lying. <laughs> you shouldn't be trusted. <laughs> It's true. Uh, hey, let's get, I love it. Let's get a hot story on the air here. It's Michelle in Jersey. Michelle, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Hey, I just wanted to relate to Anthony. Uh, my dad used to do the same thing. Like, me and my sister would share a room, and late at night, he would turn the TV down so he could hear us talk, and a bunch of little girls just chair shattered. So he would come with the belt and then beat us, and then he would, like, just say some things, like he'd beat us in syllables or what have you. Yeah. And, and we would have to laugh at him for... What are you tripped up on? And then he would hit us some more for that. 
was ridiculous. It was relentless. You laughed? He would laugh. Like, we had to laugh because he was tripping up. Like, he would say stuff that didn't make any sense. Because... Oh, because he was just why. doing it in <laughs> syllables and got all mixed up. Yeah, that exactly. syllable beating so, is the worst for for a kid. Cause exactly. You're just like, oh my God, where's he going with this story? How long is it gonna go? Like, where? How? When does this wrap up? Jesus. Oh, and it was teaching, you know, teaching us a lesson. Mm. Sure. Meanwhile, it was because he was it miserable. Add a little bit and punch out, guys. They're all talking yeah. about the Dakota fan. Oh, yep. oh, now they got a little. Uh, Little clips of the movie. Oh boy, that looks well. Like look how cute she is. Some critics are saying it wasn't graphic enough. <laughs> <laughs> Pedophiles are coming out saying. Da says film crew did not commit from? a crime. Course look at this guy. Oh, he looks like he, investigate him. It's a clean-shaven Bill. He's a talk show host. I think he's, 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 he's from Air America. Hair. Ben Ferguson or Radio America is that different than Air America? Mer yeah. yeah. I think that's uh, debuted. Oh he looks God. like the conservative. Ben Ferguson Something tells me this guy was people... first online with a handful of tickets. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> these people are causing the problem because it's a movie about where there's a child rape, like we were saying, in the context of a story. Right. It's probably dealt with very, you know, tastefully and yeah. like, it, it, artistically. It's supposed to be but hard. These people are removing it and just showing her picture and saying raped on camera. Rape. And just turning it into, <laughs> they're thing. distilling it down yeah. to an ugly thing. And so that, they're, that kids are going to see, kids aren't going to see that movie. No. Because it's a piece of shit Sundance art fuck right. film. Right, artsy farsy movie. <laughs> <laughs> but they are watching CNN over their parents' shoulders seeing a little girl's face and it says rape. And they show her when she's like eight. Not that 12 yeah. is anything yeah. like that, but no. at 12 or 13 years old that she is now is a lot different than the pictures they're showing yeah. her smiling with her missing teeth. And yeah. Like, yeah. Rape. Yeah. Exactly. It's a movie. She's a fucking actress. Let's go to John in North Carolina. John? Hey, guys. Hey. I got I got a price this one and this is I swear to God this is true and before my father died he admitted to my wife so I had a witness that he did this when I was a kid he was too lazy to get up off the couch and spank me so one day he was a World War II buff so one day he pulled off this book from the bookshelf and he said come here boy I want to show you something and he opens it up and he shows me Auschwitz and all the bodies and all the ovens and all this stuff and he explained to me what it was and then he showed me all these kids and they experimented on and then he puts his face and he says this guy here this his name is Heinrich Himmler, and he was the head Nazi that that was in charge of all this. And he lives at at you know that German restaurant on on the main road oh we go God. to eat. I said yeah. He lives in that basement. He said I got his number. And anytime you're bad, all I got to do is call him, and Holy he will take you away shit. and put you there. Wow. He your father then threatened to send you to the Nazis. So that's what happened to, to Himmler. Nazis. Yeah. Oh my he, God. He yeah. ended up in a restaurant. And how many? <laughs> but the killer, but the killer like. part. I'm sorry. Sorry to interrupt, but the killer part is, then they would take us to eat at this restaurant and wonder why they Great had schnitzel. Said, well, what are you going to do? I don't care if Heinrich Himmel is in the fucking basement. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking pig's meat are awesome. We had Mengele's soup recipe. <laughs> Wait, John, what would you wonder when you were in the restaurant? I was freaking because I just knew he was... And my father would nudge me and go, hey, boy, he's in the basement. You wow. best be good. And I would just uh, freak the hell out. John, how many, scared to pitch a fit. how many hookers have you strangled? <laughs> wow. I, I quit doing that a couple of years ago when I got married. There you go. Yeah, I, I'm thing. okay now. Thanks, John, for Bye, the story. John. Let's go to Tom in New York. Tom? Morning. Hey. Uh, yeah, my uh, stepfather and his brother came from Europe in the 60s, and they had this real strict disciplinarian streak. And we were over their house one time uh, visiting my cousin's, the youngest boy did something bad. All four kids had to drop their drawers and bend over the bathtub and get spanked with the belt like Anthony's father. Mm -hmm. And I'm 12 years old watching a 15, a 14, and a 13-year-old girl bent over the bathtub getting their ass spanked. Wow. That's hot. completely hot. That costs a lot of money now. Yep. <laughs> you see that. And you got to fly all the way to Thailand. Thailand. Yeah. And wow. sit next to John. Or is it Jeff? We don't know. <laughs> Which Either one. All right. This is getting depressing. The voices are changing on the phones. Yeah, everybody's kind of uh, like... Ri yeah, people are thinking about it too much. It was... Well, I remember it was 1973, and uh, it was an early morning. There was a mist in the backyard. Everyone's got these vivid memories now. They're supposed to be uh, having fun here for these people. It's like the way people describe 9-11. Yeah. It was a cold, crisp morning. I remember where I was. September. It was... The uh, sun was shining. The sky was so yeah. blue. It was unusually sunny. It was the last thing you expected. <laughs> Such a horrific day. <laughs> right.